Hi folks. This is going to be a video response to the Muddy Muddy Mud Man, Scott Brown. Um, he recently made a video um, called Part A, The Prop Carving Machine, Invention by Muddy. And uh, first of all, the point of that video is wind turbine blades, uh, specifically making one out of a 2x4. And uh, he came up with about the best idea I'm aware of out there for doing that as far as uh, a little jig that he set up with uh, reasonably simple materials, a skill saw, and everything else. Watch that video. I'll put a link down below um, for that. And uh, But the point of this video that I'm making, this response, is uh, in his uh, description, he, he challenges us um, to, to come up with a use for all the sawdust he makes. And, uh, and I thought about that, and, you know, initially I responded um, with the way that I saw, and I've tried once or twice to to do that, and I'm thinking, of course, to burn those saw that sawdust. <clears throat> and uh, what people have done is make uh, briquettes, um, biomass briquettes out of paper. And uh, a while ago, I made this thing, and uh, you know, it's all made out of metal and machine shop of mine. And uh, <clears throat> this is just a, a not my own version of what people have already made out of PVC pipe and everything else. And what it is is it's a press. You can press, uh, press it out. This will end up going in here. You mix up the sawdust and newspaper, blend it up really good until it's a, like a mush. Looks like oatmeal. It goes down around there. You put this on top, press that out. I did it in a hydraulic press. And then you can push it out the rest of the way. And you end up with a little donut on there. You pull this thing apart, pull that donut out, hang that up to dry, really for a bunch of days. Um, in a warm, dry area, and then uh, and then I put it in the stove, which you saw in the beginning uh, portion of the video here, and uh, and then I burn it from the inside out, and uh, and it worked plenty well. But you know what? That's kind of tedious, and um, and there, I realize that there's a much better way to do a lot of that when you're doing a bunch of them. Uh, there's a lot of guys that do a great job of that. So that's one that's one answer to that, and and that diameter right there, by the way is based is just a little bit uh, larger after the thing puffs up just a tiny bit it, it will fit nice and snug into the burn chamber of that stove that I made and uh, and so that I think is kind of fun and cool by itself but I'm thinking uh, you don't want to use all that time so I was thinking wouldn't it be nice to make um, fuel paste out of this uh, out of that sawdust which I in hindsight I'm thinking may have been a better way to go um, but what I'm going to go ahead and do here is uh, do a trial run of this. Now I've never made it before, and this is just going to be the first time around, so we're just going to see how it works. This may be a fail. We'll find out. But uh, I've measured out. I've got a little measuring cup here. This uh, measures, you know, all different ways. But we're going to go ahead and use ounces. So this is um, fluid ounces, and so we're going to measure volume here. I have already measured out almost four of these cups, so that's that would be 16 dry ounces but again this is this is uh... oh by the way this is uh... sawdust of course but this is ma this is maple and uh... buddy of mine does floor buddy james of mine gave me a great big garbage bag i kinda told him i was interested in this and uh... this is really 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 fine so um, keep that in mind as far as the consistency it's maple it's very fine and it crushes down a lot so um, it's puffed up sixteen ounces volume of that. We're going to go ahead and put that in, in this mixing bowl. Sorry, it's very small here. <clears throat> and put that in there. And then we'll go ahead and use the alcohol. And uh, this will be a little bit arbitrary, but at least we'll get measurements and, and uh, then we'll get some better measurements of the burn time. Um, let's go ahead and I, I, you know, I just think this stuff is going to soak up a lot, so Let's go ahead and do a full four ounces of rubbing alcohol. And this is 91% rubbing alcohol. Isopropyl, I believe it's called. This is taking a little while. Should have had this done like a proper cooking show. Um, <clears throat> that's a lot of fuel right there. That by itself is going to cook something. I don't know. know what. But So there's that. And then we'll do a little bit of oil. Now I, I, I was thinking the oil would be nice to <clears throat> just give a little more burn time. And I realized some of that alcohol could be evaporating in there. 
Alright, so there's your alcohol. Let's go two ounces of that. Yeah, I'm kind of arbitrary, but I'm thinking this stuff is pretty dry. Now I probably should have mixed those fluids together in the first place. Not sure how well this is all going to work. And I should have a much larger bowl. There's a few errors here, but if you don't mind putting up with it. <clears throat> so I'll mix this as best I can and I'll go ahead and stuff it into uh, this little burn chamber thing I've made here. I'll show you. Alright. Again, this is really fine sawdust, so uh, I imagine once you get that blend right of alcohol and oil, you probably have that pre-mixed in another container completely and make this process a little quicker and just sort of, you know, make it from the hip like you were making a, you know, pancakes or something like that. So anyway, there, there's that. Now, um, now I've got this burn chamber here. Like I said, I've got that for the, for the briquettes, but this is something. It fits in that burn in the in the chamber. It fits into there so that there's a little bit of room so the air can get up and around it. And I'm thinking that's going to be good for us here. So anyway, this is just uh, expanded steel, tack welded, uh, probably thin gauge, probably 20 gauge uh, mild steel. So technically, this thing could burn out. I'm just going to use my hands here. This is pretty sloppy on the table. See how it works. Sorry, this video is a little slow moving. Wasting your guys' time. Other videos to watch, I'm sure. All right, so that seems to be working going in there. So <clears throat> there I go. I'm going to pack that in. Could pack it from the other end, but this seems to be doing well because it seems to be putting some pressure on it, which I imagine is a good thing. Okay. Okay. Let's put that around there. Okay. So that's what she looks like. And you know, this thing's a little cool because I can feel the alcohol is definitely coming off of it. But uh, that's got to be a fair amount of energy right there. Let's see how she boils water. I'll do a little time and uh, temperature test here. And we'll see how it works. <clears throat> 